This tutorial walks you through writing your very first Python program. Uh, we start in our work folder that we've set up. We run Python and we get our, our Python window. And we also run Notepad++ and we get our Notepad++ window. Um, so this is the way I usually work. I have a text editor over on one side. I have the Python shell over on the other side. We'll write things in the text editor, save them to the to the hard drive, and then run them over on the shell. And the shell needs to have the file saved to disk because that's what it's doing. And so let, let me walk through the steps, and it'll be a little bit clearer. So the first thing I do is I'm going to make a new new file and. And when I do that, the very first thing I do before I do anything at all is I save the file uh, in my work folder. So it's an empty file. Um, I go to wherever my work folder happens to be, which in this case it's on the it's on the desktop, um, and I save it. And I'm going to call this say hello, and you got to do .py for a Python file. Okay, so save. Okay, now because of that. Notepad++ knows that this is a Python file uh, because of the .py. If you don't use the .py, it won't know and, and, and other things are going to be an, an issue. So I'm going to try doing my first program. I'll do print hello world. Okay. In the text editor, so I've, I've typed this in, but it hasn't saved to disk. And I know that because up in the upper left-hand corner, there's a little asterisk. And the little asterisk says that I've modified the file, but I haven't saved it yet. And I, al I always remember the keyboard shortcuts, Control-S for, for save. Um, so you'll get used to that. So when I hit save, the little asterisk goes away. So it's actually saved. One of the biggest problems that students have is forgetting to save the file. Then they go to run it, and nothing, and nothing actually happens. So I go over here to my Python. Python shell, I type run hello.py, and what it does is it runs the program in, in, in here. So if I go back, for example, let's say I save this and um, hello world today, okay? And I go back to Python and I rerun it. Um, one quick way to, to do the last command, I just hit up arrow and it will repeat the last command so I don't have to retype it all. I hit enter. Hmm. It didn't write hello world today. And the reason I go back, it says today, but it didn't write it. And that's because, hey, I forgot to save it. So it wasn't saved to disk. And so when I when I save it over here, then I go back and rerun. We will see. Let's try that again. It says hello world today. Okay, so um, so when I run uh, uh, run that, it does the, it does the changes. If we notice in our work folder, you'll see the hello.py file. Okay, so another thing that can happen um, is let's say I make a new one. We'll do new, and I'll do file save as, and I'll call it I'll call it hello2.py and hello2 is going to say, say print here I am okay I go over here I type run hello2.py and and nothing happens it doesn't it doesn't actually exist or it hasn't saved it so it's an empty file so if I save that I go back and run it. If I try running something that I haven't written, it's going to give me an error saying it's not found. And then the quickest way to see, uh, first of all, uh, if you type pwd, this is the folder that it's trying to look in. So that's the first thing you check. Is it looking in the right folder? Then you can check to see whether it's actually in that folder and, oh, hello3 doesn't exist there. So. Uh, so you can then you know figure out where you're actually saving it. So if you saved this in the if you use Notepad Plus Plus, saved it in the wrong folder, you're going to tend to get this error. So if you get this error, double check that you actually saved it in the right place. And there you go. There's your first program.